Put your hands above your head. Put your hands above your head. Turn around and face the house. What's going on? Well, I call the cops because we were drinking some wine. Okay. And she literally started talking about my mom being slow and So, of course, I defended my mother. Mm -hmm. I have her mother living with us for the past two years. And she literally, look, her son and her mother had to stop her from hitting me. She shredded the shirt off my okay. back. That's when I called 911. Mm -hmm. I made the call to you guys. What happened other than the shirt being shredded? She punched me in the face three okay. or four different times. Where at? Like, in the face. My glass, I wear glasses. Mm -hmm. I don't even know where they are right now. Okay. Where'd she hit I mean, in the face, walk, though? Like, this side and the side. She okay. slapped and hit me, knocked mm -hmm. my glasses off. And I'll show you what she did in my garage. She threw things around <laughs> just my garage mm -hmm. is trash. You want to come in? You're okay. welcome to. Okay. Is that where the argument happened? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Everybody can come in here. Let's go walk in. It's fine. I didn't want her in jail. The only thing I wanted to do was defuse the situation okay. because who wants to get their ass beat by a female? Okay. It's plain and simple. It started in the garage? Like, I can barely see it. It started right here in this kitchen. Okay. So this is what she came out here. Yeah. And just started trashing the garage right here. Okay. This is what she did. Okay. Do you need medics for any reason? No. Okay. Look at me for a moment. I'm just looking at your face. Okay. Is that what all this red's from? Mm -hmm. Okay. You don't have any of that prior or anything other? Mm -hmm. Any other marks or anything? Mm -hmm. okay. I was on the cops well, on the phone with you mm -hmm. guys the whole time she was hitting me. Okay. She goes, you piece of shit, you scumbag, you want to call the cops? And this is it. This is the end of us. And I'm like, well, it is what it is, but I'm not just going to let you hit me mm -hmm. and, and me act out. Are you guys married? No, ma'am. Okay. You guys both live here? Yeah. Okay. How long have you guys lived here together? Less than a month. Okay. And then you have the kid in common, correct? Right. Okay. All right, let's walk back up front. I don't want to so, upset yeah, your we, kids, we, but... We moved back here from Texas. I found your glasses. There's a piece missing. Let me see them? Okay. So, he has some red and bruising to his face, and the kids saw him do it. And his glasses are broken and his shirt's all ripped up. We've been dispatched to what dispatch is saying, a disturbance in progress. Looking at the call notes for whatever, it looks like it's going to be more of a family violence assault in progress. A male and female are in the front yard of their residence, and it appears that the male is physically assaulting the female. So we're going to get out there, see what's going on, and take the appropriate action. 1001, show me out. Everybody, let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. They're right here. Let me see yours. Deputy Madison with the Sheriff's Office, step toward me. Do not point at me with anything. Do you understand me? I'm asking you to leave my property. I'm telling you to step off your porch toward me now. You gonna shoot me? Step toward me! I just done a thing wrong. I'm on my own property. Stop! I'm coming on here. Turn around, face your house. This is bull. Put your hands above your head. Put your hands above your head. Put your hands above your head. I ain't done Turn around and face that house. Thanks, Jill. That barbecue stopped all over me. But you threw it at me. You threw it at me first. Do not talk to each other. Why do we have legal right for you? Sir, what's your first name? My name's John. What's yours? I'm Deputy Madison. Now, you can leave me alone and get off this property, please. I want you to stay exactly where you're at, okay? Yeah, because I get to go to jail for nothing. 1001, I have a male not responding to me. He's oh, being aggressive. Where's place? another unit? I don't know. I do not feel like you should put me in no kind of handcuffs. Sir, you don't have to be so cruel to me, you prick. I'm not being Stop, cruel. damn it. Thank you. I'm not resisting arrest. Nobody said you are. You need to quit, sir. Step you right there. You don't have to do me like this. Step right there. I'm right fine, there. but you don't have to yank me around like that. 10 one I'm secure. One's detained. You didn't do nothing wrong to be detained. Stand right here for me. So what are we arguing about? Her cheating on me. Okay. She's cheating on you? I'm trying to get her to move out. She won't move out. How long y'all been married? We ain't been married. We've been together seven years. Are y'all common law? I guess you could say. I mean, if she wants this place, she can have the damn thing, you know? I don't know what all's in there. You'll more than likely get it back. Are you cutting? Barbecue sauce that you threw everywhere. This barbecue sauce? I mean, it might be barbecue sauce, it but might. it kind of looks like blood. Thank See, that looks like blood. Know. That looks like barbecue sauce. Unless there's two different barbecue sauces. It's two different barbecue sauces. Oh, there's two oh it is? Sauces. Where'd you say there's blood in? I don't know if that's barbecue sauce or blood. So I don't know where I it came from. I can't really tell without my glasses on. So, so I'm not sure where it came from. Uh, that is not mine. I have not done any drugs in another nine months. Mm -hmm. I'll yeah, take it came out of his front right pocket. 
It must have been stuck to your hand, because it was not mine, sir. It must have been stuck to my hand. I just didn't take it out of your pocket? I don't know what that is. I just can't tell come you. Out of your, come out of your pocket. Sir, it may have been stuck on these pants, but they're not mine. And I'm not taking the blame for it or the fall. If she could have put that on me, but she was grabbing on me. She just put that on you? Never mind. All right. Is this the victim here? Yes, I couldn't find Timmy. I couldn't find... Where's the my, suspect at? My glasses Trust are broken. Right Down that road? I don't have any more glasses. What's the suspect's name? Uh, Patricia. OK. We're going to go try and locate the suspect. Hey, Patricia, what's going on today? Come out here and talk to me. The same thing that was going on three months ago when I begged y'all to make her leave my house. OK, what happened? I sat on that floor for four and a half hours, scrubbing on my hands and knees. Today you did? Yes. OK. Because it looked like that red mud out there because nobody, she don't do nothing. She gets up, she washes the dishes in the morning and thinks that's perfect for her, for us to support her. OK, who is that to you? She ain't nobody to me. I never knew her. Timmy grew up with her. OK. She called me a piece of liar. And it was on. It was on? What's that mean? That means I got up in her face. And when I did, she grabbed me by the hair. And when she grabbed me by the hair and we went down, I punched her in the mouth. Did you push her or anything? No. She pushed me, and I went off. OK. Did you hit her with a can of corn? A can of corn? Did you hit her with something, some type of canned vegetable? Right there. On the back of the head? Yeah. That's what's Here's causing her to bleed? No, what's causing her to bleed is a, my, her skin under my fingernails where she was scratching me, so I scratched her back. Did anybody see what happened? I don't know if Timmy actually seen what was going. He was in there. Is that Timmy? Are you Timmy? <laughs> 10 for her. She's outside. Um, just talk to her. I'm about to talk to another person that was 10 12. Sit right here for me, okay, Miss Patricia? It's going to be an armed disturbance. Complaints called in and said that his neighbor hit him with a hockey stick and also ran him over with his car. 374 1097. What's up, bro? What's going on, man? I'm just going to gather some information from you, okay? Right. You got an ID on you by chance or no? Yeah. Okay. Where's that on you? My back pocket. Your back pocket? Do me a favor. Go ahead and stand up. Let me get that ID out of your pocket, okay? All right. Appreciate that. I just called you guys and um You did? Those guys should be those guys should be in cuffs. Okay, for what? He just ran over and hit me with a stick. Okay. Is this your ID? Right here at the Michigan one? Yeah. Okay. You need EMS, sir? Uh no. You sure I you're just, bleeding all I up? need to stop. I need to put yeah. some Put some, I need to put something on okay, it. Okay, you want EMS to come up and do that for no, you? No, no, no. You sure? Go ahead and sit back down. Why am I in Go ahead and sit back down. Go ahead. There you go. You're putting sit cuffs right now because they're alleging that you had a knife and all kinds of stuff going on, okay? No. I okay. came okay. out because the dude was chasing me with a stick. Okay. And he hit me and I'm bleeding. Do you need an ambulance? No. Okay. Go ahead and stand up for me, okay? You're going to have to seat in my car, okay? Go ahead and stand up. Why? Okay, if you want the unknown problem. This one right here. Okay. Did you witness the whole thing, or are you the one that had had the stick? Or uh, just came, okay. He, he came at me with a knife. Okay. All right. So tell me what happened. Well, uh, earlier today, my wife was getting off work. Okay. And um, he was sitting on the porch. Okay. And she had a car out here that was blowing for her to pick her up. Okay. And he came out and told her, "Shut the fuck up, right. bitch." Yeah. So I came home and I asked myself, "Why are you cussing my wife out like gotcha. that?" Gotcha. So I turned my back to walk away like this. Look, I had my stick in my hand. Okay. And he coming at me like this. Okay. You already had the stick in your hand. Yeah. Okay. And he coming at me like this. Then. Okay. So I said, "What the f you doing, man? Yeah. Long you been knowing me, you gonna come at me with a knife?" Gotcha. So he ran back in the house. Okay. So uh, he came outside and he was standing up. He said, "What's going on, man?" Mm -hmm. He said, uh, "Man, going crazy again." Gotcha. He said, "Well, you and him gonna die tonight." Yeah. yeah. Okay. Then what happened? And he ran back in the house. Okay. He came. Bro, he came at him first. When was he hit with a stick? 
He wasn't here with the stick. Okay. I put the stick up like this. Yeah. Okay. Because the knife was stuck in the stick. Okay. Let me get the stick so I can show you what the knife is. All right. So you were afraid during that time? Is that basically yeah. what you Okay. This is the knife. Is that, where's the rest of it, do you know? Okay, trying to get back in the house. Blade broken off on there right there. Okay, where's the stick that you had? Uh, All right, just lay, put it down for me. Put it yeah, down for me. That's where the knife is stuck at right there. Right here? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, it looks like you can even see the mark on it right there. And you don't have any injuries on you at all where you need any medical attention or anything like that? What about you? No medical attention? You were just over there witnessing the whole thing, right? I was standing here. He was yeah, coming I mean, towards me. So I got right ready. Here. I got he ready. He right backed up. up. He walked all the way out here yeah. to him. Gotcha. And I didn't know what he was going to do. I was talking to him. I was going to go to his house, and he'd come, like, charging at me. I'm going to kill you. You're going to die. You're going to die. I'm like, what? I'm with you. I'm with you. All right. Well, I appreciate it. You done with your sworn written statement? Yeah.